but I think that's the only shoe I have that has like enough traction. Cause we could be climbing, y'all. We could be climbing walls. We could be in the water. It's gonna be a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. Ten minutes till I wake up. Phone rings, but I stayed up. You're probably doing makeup. You and me. We hey guys, welcome back and welcome to my page. It's Sherelle. So, if you see by the title and the thumbnail, we'll be going on a mini road trip to Dallas. The well, the Dallas fort worth area um we leave it today after work today is friday by the way happy friday and we just gotta get ready and go i said i wanted to pack last night but i didn't <laughs> yeah i didn't so i'm actually gonna pack on my lunch break um i have about 20 minutes before i log into work so i'm gonna fix breakfast and my coffee because you got gonna need it but yeah i checked the weather today so yesterday it said it was gonna just be cold okay fine that's fine um i didn't tell you but i'm about to tell you now we're doing like the tough mutter race or the tough mutter run we're doing the 5k portion um i don't think you really place on it but it's just a challenge for us you know something to do like you know to have fun something to do so i'm gonna do it it was actually josh i did so i'm gonna do it with him but y'all it says it's gonna be cold. Okay, fine. Now it's gonna be cold and raining. But the thing is, it's like you do get wet out there because it's called Tough Mudder. Of course, they have mud out there. But I don't know about the rain. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. But I'm gonna, we're gonna do it. Um, we're gonna still do it. Well, I don't think Josh knows about the rain yet because he hasn't woke, um, woke up yet. But um, yesterday the weather wasn't the same as today's weather <laughs> forecast, so things have changed. But I'm gonna let them know that it's gonna be raining, but rain, these like rain or sunshine is still gonna be going on. Cause you're gonna get wet anyway, so. But my thing is like already being wet and in the cold, I don't know. I don't know, that's why I was like, I need to pack like, like our own towels and then I just need to pack a lot of stuff, especially like for my hair, because I'm having to wash my hair. I haven't had to bring a blow dryer because now, since it's gonna be cold out there, I want to at least have my hair dry. I'm not gonna like style it or anything. I, I just need to blow dry it basically. But yeah, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm 50-50 right now. Like I'm excited. I'm 50% excited, 50% like not excited like about it. Like yesterday I was more 80-20. Now since the rain is just like, okay. But I'm still thinking like, sure, was, you're going to get wet anyway. Like we had to prepare for like, we had to get like a wet, a dry bag and everything. It's going to, I feel like it's going to be nasty out there. I have to get trash bags for me to put our stuff in. We have to bring like a change in clothes. Um... It's crazy because like we're going to our hotel is in Fort Worth, but the place is like a hour out of Fort Worth. Like it's gonna be a lot. So just imagine like being miserable in a car for an hour, driving back to a hotel, taking a shower. I have to wash and do my hair. So tomorrow is not. It's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be fun. I just don't. I'm just thinking about the after. That's like not gonna be so much fun. I washing your hair in a hotel drying your hair in a hotel like i have everything i need at home <laughs> you know but yeah so i think i might have to bring like a bigger suitcase just to have like all my hair products and extra towels and all that stuff plus <clears throat> you know you gotta bring all your disinfectant stuff too but um yeah so I just want to go ahead and start this vlog. I am about to fix me some coffee because it's needed this morning. I went to sleep early and I'm still like, I feel like I need eight more hours of sleep. So it's going to be a, a rough Friday for me if I don't have my caffeine. And then I'm going to fix breakfast. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to fix for breakfast yet. Um, I don't know. But yeah, I just want to come out here and say hey y'all. Alright, so I checked again, which is good. I'm like obsessed. 
I think it's only gonna rain in the morning tomorrow at Fort Worth. Um, but it's still gonna be a little bit cool. The low is gonna be 53. The high is gonna be 63 for Saturday. But it's storming now there. Try not to get my notification, whatever that is. <laughs> but yeah, it's storming now there. So that's good news. Um, it changed within like 30 minutes, so great. Now it's really gonna be like muddy out there. Oh my god, <laughs> y'all. Um, let me check where that place, what's the name of the town the event is in for real. All right, so our hotel is in Fort Worth. The event is in, starts with a G, oh, Granbury. Granbury, Granbury Texas. Let's see their temperature. Y'all, it's not loading. It's like nothing. It's not loaded at all. Okay. Maybe because it's not like, I guess, I'm assuming it's not like a big town. And from maps, I'm just going from maps. I'm not sure exactly in Fort Worth we're going to be. It's like from here to here. So that's like an hour drive right there. Oh. <sighs> Um, and we're gonna get rain in the next hour or so. Okay, good. We're not gonna be driving in the rain since we're leaving this evening. Okay. I, I really don't like traveling when it's storming. So that's good news. It's not gonna storm tomorrow, but I guess it's gonna be really muddy out there when we um get out there already. So <laughs> expect me to be a muddy mess. <laughs> to head out in a little while josh had to go to the store he had to get some trash bags i guess for like the um our clothes and stuff and like for the seats because yeah the seats of the car when we were driving back we need like those construction bags because <laughs> the regular bags would not do but today has been like just dragging i'm ready to get off I'm not ready to go on the road, but I'm just probably in the mood, like, ready to get this shit over with, you know? But I do need to pack, like, us some waters and stuff, too. 
So I have this book set cooler that we use when we actually go to our pool like in our neighborhood and been having it for a while. I think I had it since we've been on our last cruise. So this is it. I'm gonna, I already took some ice out of our um, freezer. Actually, just gonna leave the ice in a bag like this, just in case I want to get some ice, and I won't have to worry about the ice just loose in a bag. So, I put a couple of waters. Put a lot of like these mini waters, cause y'all know hotels be taxing with the waters and stuff, so. anything all we need to do is like really just get something to eat when we get out there i don't think we have plans or anything tonight because i did not pack for, to go out anywhere i barely i'm scared i barely didn't pack enough because um then i add i mean i'm packed but then i add some additional thick socks because josh said one of his co-workers said of course bring something that you don't mind messing up and don't mind throwing away because who's going to wash those clothes after not me and then um they also suggested bringing thick socks so i was like oh i have thin socks like i even had like the footies i was gonna wear so i was like i need to change up my socks so i need to add some thick socks to our stuff these pineapple coconut um Park on waters, y'all. <laughs> it's been a day. Then we'll go do two of those. Then I have these sugar free sprites. Now, do for snacks. Just like quick snacks for the roll. I bought these Lunchables. I think that should be good. Close this up. Should I bring more water? Them, them, them put more water in here. Add two more little small bottles of water. I think I'm gonna bring more water. I'm gonna put this in like this. Alright, yeah. More water. You cannot ever have enough water and a little snacks. And then. Bought a bag of chips yesterday. So I saw these in Walmart yesterday. As you can see, I already start eating them. These are good. I think I want to try the barbecue ones, the flaming hot barbecue ones next. But these are good, so I'm gonna pack these. I don't want them to crush. Okay, they're not gonna fit like that. I'm gonna just have to probably hold them. But yeah, this is all packed with our drinks. Dallas is three hours away. I think I told you guys earlier. And then I think we're gonna hit traffic because if we're leaving in the evening, we're gonna hit traffic. So it'll probably be longer than three hours. And don't really wanna stop that much. If we don't have to, that's why Josh left. He went on to go get gas too. So once we're on the road, we're on the road. Um, I think we should, I, this is my opinion. I think we should stop and get something to eat before we go on the road, like stop at Chick-fil-A or something and we'll eat. And then we'll have snacks when we get there, whatever. We'll figure out like what's by the hotel or whatever. Cause I think the hotel is in Fort Worth. I don't even think we're gonna be in like Dallas area at all. So. This is packed. We'll keep that in the front with us. But I could just, like, I don't know. Am I driving? I don't want to drive. <laughs> I really don't want to drive. But if I do drive, somebody could just reach back there. But I think there's enough drinks for the weekend. Like, we'll have water today, tomorrow. And probably enough water to 
have light last us on the way back home Sunday. But yeah, these are coming with, with me. <laughs> these are so good. It's the flaming hot cheddar and sour cream. Too good. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all an update. I'll hit y'all back when we actually on the road. Um, I'm about to go pack a little bit, a few, a few more things. So then I'm gonna bring my slides to, to have after the race. Cause I don't know if the shoes are coming back with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest. I don't know if the shoes are coming back with me. And I did. I'm bringing my black Reeboks. They, I think I only paid twenty five dollars for them, which they're still nice. They're comfortable. They got memory foam in them. But I think that's the only shoe I have that has like enough traction. Cause we will be climbing, y'all. We will be climbing walls. It will be in the water. It's going to be a lot. <laughs> it's going to be a lot. I'm not looking for I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. I'm just like on the fence with it right now. Maybe I get more excited once I see the obstacle course and everything tomorrow. But right now I'm just like, oh, it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold and wet. That's all I'm thinking about. But I'm trying to get out that mindset. Josh is excited. So I don't want to take the, the excitement away from him. So got to put on my brave face. I'm excited too. <laughs> but yeah, let me pack some more socks. And then I'll pack another sweatshirt too, just in case. I could just wear a sweatshirt over what I got on. I only got on tights in this shirt. And I was going, well, no, it's not that cold outside. Because I'm going to wear my jean jacket. But then I'm going to just pack another sweatshirt to have just in case. Is this too much for a two day trip? <laughs> Not this bag, this is just my grocery reusable bags. This is my toiletries, this is like my towels and my um, conditioner, shampoo, combs, um, dryer, everything is in this bag. So if I wasn't getting wet, I would need this bag, honestly. And of course my clothes is in this. And it's not that heavy, it's just, I put my clothes in there. I don't want to hold two duffel bags. And then our cooler that's going to go with us. And I'm just putting my slides in the trunk just to have just in case. But yeah, like I said, I always overpack. But I just bought extra towels and my full-size shampoo and conditioner and stuff for my hair. At least, like, I need to, like, thoroughly clean my hair, especially if it's, like, going to be mud and stuff. So, yeah. So, we'll be leaving soon. Josh hasn't made it back yet, but, yeah, we'll be leaving soon. Energy is fire. Conversation is right. If you say tonight, baby, I might let you say all of me. Want you here? Need your mind in these sheets. Come, So our car sensor, tire sensors went out, and right now we're just checking the pressure to see if everything is okay. Um, we're at a Shell station. Denny's Burger King combo. So he's just checking every tire right now to be on the safe side since we do not have any sensors right now. They went out, which is weird because I drive this car every day and never had they ever went out. But I don't know if it's like the temperature, like when the temperature dropped or whatever, that could have been it. I don't know if he's putting air in it. Um, okay, so he just walked away and let me lock the doors. And he just like walked away. I don't know if he even checked all the tires. But anyway, yeah, I am exhausted. Start reading my book. Yeah, I've been on this book for like a couple of months. I'm actually, I'm reading three books at one time. So I need to actually finish this book this weekend. If I can move, if I can finish the other two books and then move on to these new books I have. 
and I want to um, actually get more books but yeah I don't know how people well I can see how people could read like a couple of books at the same time it's like watching you know different shows but I, I want to finish this book out I did not meet <laughs> I don't even know. I forgot what goal I set. I'm going to have to go back into my notes. How many books I wanted to read this year. And y'all, I did not do it. And I wasn't even close to it. So I need to get back to reading. It has been very common. Like, I think we've been in the car for like two hours. And it's been very calming <laughs> to read. And while I'm riding, what they call it, the, I'm being a passenger princess today. So, yeah gonna finish that book that's if y'all know that's the sequel to fly girl and i recently like i read fly girl like last year i've been rereading like all the old books i read like in high school because i even bought the coldest winter ever again to read it where i could read the sequel which it's not actually the sequel because they had a sequel um another book she had that came out with um her little sister the winter sister that i read that i have so yeah, I'm going to um, finish up my three books that I'm reading right now. And then I want to finish the, the Cartel um, series. I think the last one I was I read was seven. And I think they have an eight. So I need to finish the Cartel. And I don't know, just get back to reading. Um, yeah. I, I realized I missed it. I'm, um, I used to, like, earlier this year, you know how everybody said they like, um, resolution goals? Like, I was reading, like, two or three chapters a night, like, of books. Every night before I go to bed, like, I'll have, like, quiet time or whatever. And I'll just go in the room, I'll read a couple of chapters, and then go to bed instead of being on my phone. But that stopped, and it, it went from me being on my phone, <laughs> then going to bed. So I need to... I need to change that up. I'm not going to say it's like going to be a New Year's resolution. Like I need to change that like ASAP. So then I'm gonna start doing it again. And plus, I need to order a few more books. I was like when I was trying to look up um, Eric Jerome Dickey's name, a text message came up from like an old group chat. It was like, I need a good book to read. Sure, I see you like to read. Any suggestions? And look, I gave The Cartel. I was like, that's a seven book series. The Hate You Give. Um, I put every book from Jerome Dickey. Dick, Dickey. <laughs> I, I was like, I only read black authors, which is not true. Um, I read any book that somebody put in. I like to. I prefer black authors, basically. <laughs> And she was like, I need something educational. And I was like, well, I have rich dad, poor dad. <laughs> I don't know. This conversation's weird. I thought keeps every conversation a while. Okay. But he still hasn't come back. I wonder if he's buying like a pressure thing. He just left me in this gas station. I don't know. Something. Yeah, I knew that's what he was. He went to go buy a pressure reader for the tire i guess the electronic thing wasn't working all right y'all well just giving y'all a little brief update just a little chatter chatter look at he's coming back left me all alone in this gas station i'll hit y'all up and let y'all know our progress Your future like a psychic Baby, you gon' end up right in my bed Chemistry is science I could play it cool, but I'd be lying I'll read you like a psychic I'ma tell you something, you gon' like it Chemistry is science Better than what you was fantasizing Different kind of
back home Josh <laughs> bro <laughs> these folks cancelled on us in route we was like almost on Waco probably about two hours away so we haven't been driving for at least an hour. And we stopped twice. They I mean, saw, like, they saw like, when we stopped because we stopped to check the tire pressure. Yeah, like... We were like 10 minute stops both times, but... After the second stop, I'm driving and Sherelle just say, Oh my, I don't know if she said, oh my gosh, uh, I don't know, she made some kind of noise. <laughs> like what? And she was like, they didn't cancel. But, I mean, I guess it's still going on. So, essentially, they, uh, so the event was supposed to be tomorrow at 12. And so today in Texas, I guess so, in Dallas, definitely in Austin, it was pouring down this morning. Friday morning, it was pouring down until like 1 o'clock. So they said, I guess it was doing the same in Dallas. So they said that, um, due to extraneous rain that basically caused more damage than anticipated to the terrain and the obstacles that they uh, had to move Saturday events to Sunday. Sunday. So our room was booked for Friday and Saturday. Of course, check out Sunday. Because I was planning to come back Sunday. But, um, I mean, technically, I guess we could have still went and found something to do tomorrow and then do the event Sunday and leave Monday morning. But one, I don't want to do that. Two, um, because you would have had to change your room adjustments. And then <laughs> they said that you had to have, because it's so muddy, you had to have a four-wheel drive car in order to, um, four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, same thing. They said they will turn you around. If you do if you not have, have a four, drive. yeah, four wheel drive, like first of all, because you could get stuck. People are already most likely driving there in the car that they have, and it, then it's like in the middle of like I won't say nowhere, but it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere. Outside four. So hours. if you're trying to Uber there, it was like right. forty five minutes yeah, so hour away. Yeah, we were staying in Fort Worth, and then the place where the event was was like forty five minutes away from Fort Worth. Just because it's in like, I mean, no other rooms around. It's in the middle of nowhere, basically, just to have all the land. But it was tragic. And then, even if you do decide that you're going to do it, they said that they had to change the way that you park. So parking was basically a mile from where the actual mm -hmm. event was because the rain damaged like what an original parking spot was. Like you can't park over there no more because it's going to be too muddy. So they was like, if you still gonna come, basically, um, be prepared to get all your shit. Cause, yeah, get uh, everything out your car. Your get all your stuff, and um, <laughs> get all your stuff because ain't no going back, basically. Yes. So originally, like they said, like in their emails, it was like you could leave some stuff in your car. Josh rented a locker and everything for the keys and stuff. But... I need my refund. So <laughs> they like sent this email out and then it was like we moved it to to Sunday or we'll um have your ticket transferred to the Dallas one next year in November. Like who why would I wanna wait that long a whole year to participate? So they have one that's coming up in um college station. That hopefully we could get our tickets transferred there. But all that prepping. I was riding. 
I'm glad yeah. she checked the email. Yeah, the, email. the only reason why I checked the email because I didn't sign my waiver yet. And they were supposed to send me like a forget password email to log into their um their portal. But I was like, and then when I saw that, I was like, whoa. And then they sent like another email. It was like, oops, so I'm thinking, oh, maybe they sent this email on my mistake. <laughs> no. The email literally said, um, oops, <laughs> um, the intern strikes again or blame it on intern mistake or something. Yeah, and so I'm thinking, oh, maybe it's a mistake. So Josh still on the road. And I was like, oh, no, they just, they got the dates wrong. So instead of them saying the 29th and the 30th, they say the 28th and the 29th. But it's still, tomorrow's activities were canceled. And even if we... I was just thinking, like, not even extending it to Sunday. I was like, we're not going to have nowhere to, like, shower if we go, like, Sunday because we'll be already checked out. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about that. Hmm? I didn't think about extending it, but still, we had work no, Monday. I didn't want to extend it. Like, I was, man, I was, like, I was over it at that point. Because like, I was already thinking, like, damn, like, if we do go, what the, what are we going to do in Dallas Saturday? And I'm trying to think of shit to do in Dallas Saturday. And like, then we don't have a club. Like, I wasn't, I didn't pack clothes to go places. Like, yeah, I packed clothes to. one, like, one little, like, outfit. But it wasn't even an outfit, but just something to wear Saturday night if I was to do right. something. Because I was planning on leaving first thing Sunday anyway. Even though we talked about, like, Possibly like brunch. going to brunch or something. But that place. was Dallas. That was going the opposite way. So it wasn't was even like, worth it. Man, tell me how your body don't feel after that. After, after, of course, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but, yep, yeah, it's canceled. And the, the sad thing is, it's so much stuff going on in Austin this weekend. that like, we I just looking. I don't have a costume. It's like Halloween weekend. I don't have a costume. I'm pretty sure if I try to go to like Spirit or something, Spirit Halloween, they have probably nothing in there. Like, to say we didn't prepare for, like, Plan B, which I didn't think we Why would need a... Like, yeah, I didn't think we need a Plan B. So... And I don't want to be the person at the costume party. When I, you know, when I have a costume thinking I'm too cool for a costume, which I'm not, but I don't want to be that person. the costume person. party with some made-up shit that you made at home. I mean, you can make some fire shit at home. I mean, but. I guess. That's what I was like. You can still make a cute costume, but I don't have anything. Well, I'm not I can't going for cute. Not cute, but yeah, a cute costume. That's what I meant to say. A cute costume. I wanted to dress up like Candyman last year if I did something, but I forgot. We was in, I think we was in Louisiana for homecoming last year. Homecoming for uh, Halloween last year. I don't recall. I know. We bring them through a party and we couldn't go. I'm trying to think of why we couldn't go. Oh, we didn't go. Mm. Well, that's what we want to come on here and say. We stopped and got daiquiris from Austin Daiquiri Factory. They're pretty good. They're close to the real thing. I got a... Uh, what you mean close to the real thing? Definitely the real thing. I mean, it's not like New Orleans daiquiri, but it's, it's a daiquiri. I, when I think of daiquiri, I think of New Orleans daiquiri. That's why I say close to the real thing. This is a um Keep Austin Weird. This is a Keep Austin Weird. And then this is a sneaky link that has strawberry, peach, octane, and mango. I don't know what this got. I just know when I read it I liked it, so it got C B D drops, supposedly. Oh, and I got an extra shot of in mine. Extra shot of what? I don't know. It was like floating at the top. I don't know. Everclear. I hope not. But most likely it is. Yeah, so we're back home. Now we gotta find something to watch. I'm about to watch the basketball game. He gonna be in the room watching the game. I'm about to watch Hulu. I'm about to watch Reasonable Doubts, The Patient, American Horror Story. I have I need to watch Hocus Pocus this weekend. So yeah. Talk to you guys later. Chemistry is